Aloha, it's Robert Stelic with Blue Planet Surf. Today I'm going to talk about leg exercises, how to get your legs strong and solid and grounded for, um, especially for rough water paddling. A lot of times when people do downwinders, what gives out first is not their arms or their upper body or their shoulders, it's their legs. They can't balance anymore in the rough water. So especially for long races like the Moakai to Oahu M2O race, you know, where you have to balance on your legs for like five, six hours. Leg strength is super important. And for foiling, in foiling, you're, you're balancing on the foil and you're pumping and you're riding and your legs, at the end of a ride, your legs are burning. So the best way to stay in shape is always doing the sport you're staying in shape for, obviously. So going on a downwinder in rough water or going foiling will be the best leg exercise you can do but this week I'm traveling so I'm just trying to keep my legs strong for when I get back in the water and luckily this hotel has a nice yoga room they have a BOSU ball that I can use it for instability so I'm gonna do some squats and I'm inviting you to join me with the squats um, you know if you don't have something to add instability which makes it more valuable for stand-up paddling you can also just do regular squats um, you know, shoulder width apart, try to go all the way down to where your thighs are parallel to the ground and then all the way up to where your hips are forward and you're upright. So that you should um, do the whole motion. Um, some other exercises I like to do for leg exercises are box jumps for kind of explosive leg strength and then also double unders for a high intensity workout with a jump rope. So, but for now, I'm gonna do these Bosu ball squats. I already did a couple sets, so this is um, a little bit tired already, but um, join me. I'm gonna do 20 squats and then hold it for 20 seconds and afterwards your legs should really burn. So it's kind of like getting a long ride on a foil where you're just pumping with your legs the whole time. Afterwards, your legs are pretty tired. So building leg strength is super key for that. All right, so hope you can join me. Try to do as many as you can. If you can't do all 20, just do as many as you can and try to build up to that or, or do more. If you can do more, do more than me. So to get up, I just kind of use my hands and then find the balance. Now I'm going to do 20 squats. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, Six, whoop, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay. I'm going to do 20, just bouncing up and down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20. Oh. All right. Whew. Now your legs should be really burning. If not, do a couple more sets until your legs are just really worn out. That's how you make them stronger. So if you don't have a boosty ball like this, you can also use an indo board. Indo board is pretty challenging or, or anything else that kind of keeps your feet a little bit imbalanced or just forces you to keep the same amount of weight on both feet. So to stretch out my back, I also like to use one of these balls. Just get over it and then stretch out the back. Oh. Using a roller is another really good way to stretch out your back and kind of bend your spine backwards. This is like a big roller here. Just bring my arms up. Just kind of roll out the back. Okay, so we did the set of 20 squats and 20 bounces. Now we're gonna do the super challenge of 30 squats and 30, 30 bounces for those who really wanna get a leg workout. My legs are already kinda of sore, so this will be, really be, the, um, be a good workout for me. So 30 squats, 30 bounces, see if you can do it. And we'll play some foil footage in the background. Okay, ready, go. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay, let's see if we can do 30 bounces. Okay, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, Ooh, that burns. Whew. All right, shake it off. Good job. I'm going to show you a shoulder stretch that I like to do for my shoulders to kind of keep the back and shoulders stretched out and the, the arms stretched out. It's just basically grabbing your hands behind your back. It's a really good back stretch. So to start with, I just kind of bring my, my hand behind my back, try to get it all the way up between my shoulder blades like this. And then with the other arm, I reach over my hand and I grab the hands together behind my back. So, and that took me a while to be able to do that all uh, fully extend like this. But if you do it regularly, you loosen up and then you can try to pull, pull your elbows back and your shoulders back. Kind of pull it back like this and you know just really stretch out your shoulders and your your triceps get a good stretch and your back so and then hold that for a little bit pull back your shoulders pull back the elbows and then shake it out shake out your arms loosen up a little bit and then do, do the same thing on the other side bring your arm up behind the shoulder blades other head over the top grab grab your fingers together and then pull back with your elbows and your shoulders kind of stretch out really good. You can also add some twists with your head, stretch out and everything side to side, pull it back. All right, Whew. and then shake it out afterwards. A really good shoulder exercise if you get tight shoulders or your triceps get sore, really good stretch for that. All right, thanks for watching.